Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Slack with Microsoft Outlook. Uh, first thing, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, slack.com if you don't have one already. And uh, once we do that, let's go to the uh, left, top left part of your workspace and click on Browse Slack. Once you click there, there's a couple of options to pick from, but let's go with apps. Now we have to search for Microsoft Outlook. Like this. And yeah, let's go with the uh, select for Outlook. Right now, we just have to click on add select and get it now. Now uh, we can use also automate.io, which is uh, different kind of app or third party app. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we're here at automate.io, we want to go to the top uh, part of your screen and we want to go to and see all categories. We can now pick from 200 more apps, but let's start with Slack like this. Uh, on the opposite side, as a counterpart, uh, there will be Microsoft Outlook. As you can see already, there's a couple of popular integrations uh, that you can uh, pick from. But uh, if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, just keep scrolling and you can create your integration here. Uh, just remember, underneath the triggers on the left side, start with a Slack. On the other hand, uh, underneath the uh, actions on the right side, you want to go with Microsoft Outlook. So yeah, let's go with the first option. All you have to do now is to hit try it now button and you'll get redirected to login page and uh, you just have to log in with uh, your account. And that's about it. We can also use Zapier.com. Uh, we also need to create an account here. And uh, let's go to the top left corner, this uh, black button, make a zap. Once we click on make a zap, uh, we can name our zap or we can go straight to integration. It works uh, more or like uh, the same way like it worked at uh, Automate. So we want to start the trigger with Slack. Choose an event. Let's go with the first one. We hit continue. Now we have to log in with the account that we created. Continue. Uh, is there a trigger for bot? Uh, no. So continue. And now we can test the trigger. Or we can jump straight to action. The action, as you probably guessed it, it's Microsoft Outlook. We create an event. So let's stick with the first one. We hit continue and we just have to sign in to the Outlook and we are a few steps away from finishing this integration through Zapier. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.